Hello and welcome to Camping Corner episode 19. What? Hold on, do that again. That was like, hi. <laughs> wow, okay, critic over here. Um. Hello everybody! <laughs> Take Camping Corner week 19. Tony said I wasn't excited enough the first time we did it, so we gave it a go. Yeah, and she started off like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, no, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes, that would yes. be more Mrs. Doubtfire. More Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> hey, it's week 19. Yes. Welcome and back. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, hopefully everybody made it through Memorial Day weekend. Yep. It's not long enough, right? No. They what never a, are. What a great weekend, you know. Thunderstorms here and there. Yep. But great weekend. We've got some great stuff we're going to talk about with that. And I got to give props to our executive producer uh, and editor who's got a really cool feature for the first time we're putting into the episode. And you guys will see it in a little bit. Oh, okay. I thought you were just sucking up to him so he didn't dub your voice this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Dub it like into like in Spanish. Yeah, I didn't know where that was going. Like a, <laughs> can, can you d- dub me in like a Spanish soap opera star? Absolutely. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> Tras tanto, jamás olvides que eres una muchacha muy talentosa, que tienes una gran capacidad para lograr todo lo que te propongas, todo. <laughs> oh goodness. So, as always, we're going to start off with what's the buzz? Yes, what's the buzz? So, which one do you choose and why? Which one you got, Tony? <laughs> so, I, I, don't, I don't get either one. I, the, the one on the I suppose the Amish want to go camping, too. Yeah. So, B... You know, is is the Amish? Just think of the baked goods and the food being cooked at that campsite. <laughs> See, okay, I think I'm gonna go A. That's a lot of workout, but the horses—that's a lot of maintenance, right? So I'm going more workout. At least okay. I'll be healthy. Yeah, until there's like a little bit of a hill. Oh lord. <laughs> Just even the smallest incline would right. kill you on that. Yeah. That should also have attached to it, and I saw this on social media yesterday. It was a picture of like a, that grumpy cat. Yeah. And it said, okay, I've jogged once. Where's my summer body? Amen. That, yeah, that would be it right there. <laughs> or even worse yet, not only do you have to climb the hill, but then you start down the hill on the other side, and you're trying to stop that All that weight in monstrosity. the monstrosity. So, this weekend, this past weekend, was Memorial Weekend, right? Right. What did we ask for? We asked for pictures. And you guys delivered. We actually got so many, so... Tons! We're not going to feature all of them. Sorry. It was very random. We didn't make it personal, we promise. We we didn't want to have a four-hour episode (laughs) where we went through each and every picture because we got tons and tons of them. But remember, at the beginning of the episode, I said we got something really cool? Yeah. So you can go to our website and you will see a mosaic of a picture that's camping Mm -hmm. that you'll see here in a minute. I think we'll flash it up on the screen. But if you zoom in on it, you'll find out that those are all of the pictures pictures. that you guys sent in. Facebook, not website. Yeah, Facebook. Facebook. On Facebook. Facebook. Go to Facebook. (laughs) But thank you to everyone that submitted. Maybe in the future we should hold a contest or something. That would be cool. We could do do that. So I love this first campsite. This thing is yes. super cool. I like how they put the lights out around the official social distancing. Get out of my yard! <laughs> yeah, they set like the barrier lines, but also set a mood with the lighting. Yeah. I like it. It yeah. kind of looks like flame. It does almost look like there's a line of fire yeah. through the grass. Which yeah. would be even cooler and promote social distancing even yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll burn you! <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's very cool. I like the way they did that. The next one is pretty cool. A lot I've seen at campgrounds, a lot of people do this. Where even if, I don't know what this is, but people may use a screen or like a bed sheet. Or I've seen even people with a white camper use the back of their camper to project a movie up on. So it's pretty cool. 
I can't tell what. Are you trying to figure out what they're watching? Yeah. It kind of looks like Mary Tyler Moore. So whoever <laughs> sent this picture into us, let us know what you're watching, because that looks like Mary Tyler Moore on the screen. There you go. That we're gonna get something back that no, we're, we were watching Shrek or something. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes aren't that great. Mm. Great picture from the hills, rubbing it in that they got the cool wooden sign. Yep. With a little, it looks like with a dog named Bentley. Ooh, got the fur baby. Yep. Maybe they'll respond, Tony, and tell you where they got their sign at because you're looking for one. That's right. Did you see the sign that, that my wife got me? No. That I hung up at our campsite the other day? Super cool. It says McMillan's Tiki Bar. I did see that Established one. 2019. Super cool. And I got a little Tiki Guy above it. And I broke my Tiki Guy when I was mounting. <laughs> but he'll make it through the year, I promise. So we got a couple more with the Cougar. Quit smiling, Dan. <laughs> Back on track. So, yeah. <laughs> A uh, couple more pictures. The top one, um, I met those folks at the campground. Okay. I can't think of what their last name is. They're super nice. We were running RC cars uh, together down at the campground. They were just down from Dan's in the top picture. Okay. So the Cougar. The, the Cougar, yeah. Then we got the Montana. Nice setup with their American flag and like it. And then here's another great picture of you know, the original social distancing. You know, how cool is it? They've got their flagpole up. they got the fire going. they got the lights up underneath the awning. Yes. Uh, you, you obviously got distance. Super cool. Love it, love it, love it. This sums it up. And the next one, you actually know one of these little girls. I, knew, I know two of these little girls, okay. and they are two of my favorite uh, many humans in the world. Yeah. Uh, Miss Harper and uh, Mai Mai, who's sitting on the table, and and that was taken at a, another local campground, and uh, it's just super awesome. I love those little girls like they're my own. Well, and I love this as a parent because it shows exactly what camping is with your kids. Yep. Get them out, let them have fun, swim, get dirty. It's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Absolutely. And then here's the mosaic. Yes. So super cool. And then I don't know. I don't, I'm not a tech nerd, so I don't understand it. But that's super cool that Dan, all of those are individual pictures that you guys sent in. That's how many you sent in. That's why we're not doing a four hour episode. And it's geek, not nerd. Nerd is offensive. Geek is pro. It's a tech geek. Nerds are multi-millionaires in something I'm not. Geek is something that I approve. Okay. <laughs> potato, potato. And Tony stands corrected. <laughs> like you said, potato, potato. Tomato, tomato. But uh, this, this is super cool. The t-shirt, the cougar is calling and I must go. It should just say the camper is calling let's just make you know a, a general one but I like either one yeah very cool you know what I'm wondering though so I know this is because it's a brand the Cougar but I want to know you know how people nickname their cars I wonder if people nickname their campers that's a great question I want to know I I don't have one for mine but I know there's people that name their cars I just wonder if people do the same thing with with their camper, people name obviously people name boats. Why not? I might think of one for mine this weekend. Or we can ask people to suggest what to name your camper. Ooh, yes, I'll have to post a picture of it or something though, so yes. we can get. We posted a few times that first letter of your first name, first letter of your last name, and then that tells you what name your camper. That's always popular. People seem to love that. Yeah. Now, I don't know that they stick with it. Right. Mine was really dorky, which was awful, but I mean, and Sarah's was too. I think I was just destined to have a dorky camper name. So where does that fit in? Geek, nerd, dork. Dorky. Dork is somebody that wishes they could be a geek or a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> 
There you have it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Around the web. This is becoming my favorite section where we get to just see these pictures for the first time. General, like our new, like fresh reaction to them. And I just think it's fun. So we're going to keep it going. So here we go. First one. I don't even know what's going on here. Did they turn it into a fifth wheel? They made it a fifth wheel. Made they just it figured wheel. it must. I'm just gonna say it was broken down. They couldn't fix it. Like just motor was gone. You know what I mean? Can't fix it. It's gonna be too expensive. Let's just put a hitch on it. It's still usable. <laughs> that's all I got. I mean, that's that's the only reasoning I have with that one. Is that the spare? Uh, is that the spare tire laying next to it? <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> uh, nothing is stopping them from camping. Not even a broken down motorhome. Nope. It's crazy. And then the chitty chitty bang bang looking okay, thing. I was trying to like figure out what I would want to say. Yeah. It, I thought it looked like a train kind of at first. Yeah. It was like chitty chitty bang bang. Chitty chitty bang bang. <laughs> class C, class <laughs> Super C, Ugh. classless. I don't. I feel like it would actually look really elegant inside. You know what I mean? Like I feel. Like Go. Like old Victorian style. I don't know. That's what. Red I'm velvet chairs. Yes, that's what I'm imagining. High back red velvet chairs. Mm -hmm. You may kiss the ring of the king. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm thinking with that one. Sipping nat uh, natty light with your pinky up. <laughs> natty light. Doing it up right. Oh, my goodness. Murica. <laughs> Murica. <laughs> oh, speaking of Murica. So, if you've got horses and you also need a camper, why go buy a dual? Like, you just make it. A little horse trailer on the back. Nice little fifth wheel. That's for the in laws. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the in laws' quarter? <laughs> the in laws' quarter. You are so wrong. <laughs> I left you a bale of straw back there. <laughs> it's going to be good. Oh, these are just ideas now. I'm jotting them down. The next one. This one looks like an original camper. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, Tony. Like. Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't. don't think it is. I, I, I know. It's not. They took an old shack and put it on a truck. It's like. We want farm fresh eggs when we camp, so I put the chicken coop on this old Ford. <laughs> Betsy's going to follow us and just, we'll, we'll have it. I immediately think of the Clampets. Yes. Yes. The nice front door is their door to get in their car. And then you always got that one that, no, I, I think my... Pontiac Transport will pull that thing right there. <laughs> I just got to get it home. I'm actually kind of surprised that the van isn't like squatting more than it is. That the back end of the camper looks to be having more trouble than the actual vehicle. So do you suppose they don't let the kids sit in the third row seat with Probably. that with that hitch right Oh above. gosh, <laughs> that's just that's an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> okay, so before we keep going, I got a surprise for you guys. You you know a little bit about it. Tony alluded to it a minute ago. I didn't have any cool gadgets this week for Gadget Corner. Okay? So I'm going to throw you guys for a loop. Everyone has been having a blast on Facebook doing Caption This. And we kind of alluded to it before. So I've got a series of pictures. Each one of you, you caption this. First thing that comes to mind, doesn't have to be just one caption. But first thing that comes to mind with these pictures, what would your caption be, okay? Got so, it. So, go. <laughs> All right, picture number one. Tony, what is your, what do you got? What's your caption? I'm trying to decide. Where to start? Where to start. <laughs> What's up with the awning? <laughs> okay, so first thing that pops to my head, though, is, couldn't find a truck camper in Indiana, so I made one. There you go. That's what I've got with that one. <laughs> but you have the awning. Or how about this? I don't know what it is, but I've got it here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like he 
doesn't have a hood to his truck. Like, does the hood to the truck look like it's missing? The funniest part is he put a towel mm-hmm. over the fender mm-hmm. so his belt buckle didn't rub on the fender and scratch the fender. <laughs> that was his concern. <laughs> I just also would want to know what that looks like folding that thing up when you're done, like set up, tear down. <laughs> Tell me, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I just, I, I just. It don't. is a little overwhelming. I don't. I don't. It's craziness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's a. There's a. Let's be nice and say eighty thousand dollar toy hauler. Yeah. Pulled by a. $70,000 truck. You probably just lost both of them. <laughs> and there's a $100,000 worth of what in the were you thinking? Yeah, so I don't know. I feel like the husband was probably like, I can find us a pretty spot. And then the wife's up on the mountain taking this picture. Like, okay, watching the process go down. Notice she went straight to blaming the husband. I did. I did. I have no shame in my game. Okay, so if you're going to blame the husband, I'm going with, <laughs> oh no, me and the girls will just take it on ourselves. <laughs> We've seen you do it. If you if you dish it, you got to be able to take it, yep, right? That's, that's right. It. I got it. I don't need no map or GPS. <laughs> I, the campground's right up here. I found the spot. Just got to get to it. The sad thing is, the real side of this is, they probably know exactly where they're going. Yeah. And the last time they made this trip, they had a much smaller unit, smaller toy hauler, because they're in the mountains, so they probably haul in ATVs or something like that, dirt bikes. And they took a much smaller camper up through there, like a fold-down tent camper. Maybe they sold their fold-down tent camper to this guy. (laughs) <laughs> or, and I'm going to tell an embarrassing story on myself, we took a, one of our first trips down to Gulf Shores, needed fuel, pull over, there's two gas stations to choose from. I said, I'm going to that one, to which Sarah said, I don't think you're going to be able to get in and out of there, to which I said, watch me. Oh no, famous last words. 25 minutes later, I got out of that parking lot. Blocked traffic, caused a big ruckus, got no fuel, and drove across the street to the other gas station where she told me to go, got fuel and left. This could be one of those situations where it was, uh, we're not going to make that turn. No, it'll be fine. Watch me. Watch me. (laughs) Famous last word. (laughs) Watch me. (laughs) Here, hold my beer. (laughs) I think the next one is a watch me. Like, do you think the wife said, honey, you cannot go through that, okay, wife, and maybe anybody in general is like, you can't go through the drive through with the motorhome, which is clearly a rental, by the way. Yes, that is that is a rental. <laughs> so the person that renting it is renting it is probably thinking, oh, no, what have I done? I just need to get that Baconator. <laughs> yeah, or wait. everybody in the RV was hangry, and the driver's like, I've had enough, and tried it. <laughs> Yeah, just don't go through a drive through with a motorhome. Just park, go in. If you can go in, go in. Have you seen the video of the guy pulling the fifth wheel around and they had stopped at the bank and he hits the canopy over the drive through? Mm-hmm. You know, the when you pull into the yeah. drive through at the bank and you got the little sucker tube thingy? <laughs> that you know sends and receives your money and all that great stuff yeah. so that's got that big canopy thing over it there's a great video we'll have to maybe next week's episode we, we maybe we can track that down but the guy comes around the corner and the fifth wheel catches the corner of that yeah canopy and just blah, just mows it over like i'll admit my husband's gone through drive throughs with the boat before but like specific you can't just go through any drive through it all depends on how it's laid out too but he's done it good thing taco bell drive throughs are open late 
All right, industry news. So, nothing, nothing too new for this one. Oh, I don't know. We've got a lot. We have seen a massive number of new campers mm-hmm. come into the to the industry. People that right aren't aren't haven't traditionally been campers. I think yeah, you have you've had a lot of people that you know have been on the fence about do they want to get a camper within the last year or so, and then this year they're buying the camper because that's what they feel is a safer vacation. They may not even be able to take the regular vacation that they planned because some places still aren't opening. So yeah, we are seeing a lot of first time RV buyers and it's really awesome to see, you know, families with their kids come in and look at campers and it's kind of, it's neat. It's fun for us to make that help people make those memories. Sure. Making memories that last a lifetime. That's right. Oh, look at us getting all cheesy. Oh, I got <laughs> But yeah, it's super cool. Yes. That that that's happening, and I'm sure you know a whole lot of people sitting around. I ain't getting on no airplane. Yeah. I don't know why. Whenever I feel like people are having a discussion, they They're, they sound like a hillbilly. They they get a hillbilly <laughs> draw. I ain't getting on no airplane, Mabel. <laughs> Call your mama. Tell her we ain't coming. <laughs> now we all know how we sound to Tony when we're having. Regular conversation. <laughs> my my wife thinks it's funny. My my our everything has to be having a conversation. Yeah. So the the fur babies barking at each other or making noise. Oh, you and, give them a conversation when they do that? Oh yeah. Oh, I do too. Oh, okay, yeah. good. I'm not the only one. See, Dan's shaking his head. That must be like a common thing. Now I don't feel weird. Yeah. I do it too. My dogs also make fun of my wife a lot. And she can't get mad at me because I didn't do it. The no. dog said it. No. And the wor- and, and the bad thing is, they each have their own... Like little personality. Their, like they voice. have their own personality and their own accent yeah. of, of what they're oh, saying. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you on that one. I think next week, too, or maybe in the few next coming weeks, as weather keeps improving, maybe we go shoot at the campground. Maybe in front of your camper or my camper, we do an episode from the campground. What do you think? That's a great idea. I like it. And we're also going to, I'll, I'll forewarn you. We're going on a field trip. Yes, out to the lot. Okay. We're going to... Do I need a permission uh, slip? We're going to have each one of you maybe do a walkthrough of your favorite camper that we have on the lot and why it's your favorite camper we have on the lot. I think that'd be fun. That would be fun. Plus, I can use that video later in the week on Facebook, so it kind of is a win-win for me. <laughs> I like it though. I'm I'm all for I'm all for doing the the out the the show outside. You know, we we tried to do Dan and I tried to interview some people in the campground this this past weekend for Memorial Day, and and it didn't work out. Mallory and I tried to do it, and yeah. it just didn't work out, and. Um, so we, we want to start having some guests or, or some guest appearances, yeah. if you will. I'm game. Works for me. Hey, I think that pretty much wraps up episode 19. Yes, it does. Another. I mean, yes, it does. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Needed more excitement there for Tony. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll see you next week. Remember, if you got any cool stuff to send in to us, Picture-wise, idea-wise, silliness-wise. You want to talk about how great my hair looks today? Oh, my God. Anything like that? (laughs) All right, guys. Well, until next time, we'll see you then. See ya. (laughs) 